Hi everyone, a couple new cars in the channel this week. First up, my favorite subject matter to give a hard time, this is a green light, late 80s Pontiac Trans Am GTA. Now I do give green light a hard time because I feel like they can do better. And this is an example of them doing better. Um, there aren't gigantic glaring paint flaws on this like I find so typical on most of their products. Look at the detail of their wheels. These honeycomb mesh wheels and they're actually open mesh. They're not closed. Sometimes you see that kind of cheap out move when making wheels like this. Look at the detail of the labeling, the badging, which is three dimensional. I mean, look at this. We have we have fabric seat belts with a photo etched clasp. When was the last time you saw that on a green light? Carpeting or flocking. The doors open, but the trunk opens too. Look at the T-top straps. And again, flocking, carpeting in the trunk. Seats fold a little bit. I mean, this, again, this is green light. Look at them making a nice car. Hood opens, not just the doors. This would have a TPI for a tune port injection. Is that is what that stood for? 350 V8. Sadly, the, the 350 was automatic only. You could get a 5 liter V8 with a stick in these. That was, to me, the way to go. You have dog legs, whatever. Not a high-end model. This retailed for like $79, which is a little high, but most things are lately. But not everything's perfect. I don't understand the laziness of having removable T-tops, but it's a one-piece panel, which obviously T-tops in this car would be individual panels, but you can't win them all. Um, love the subject. No one else is really doing the F-bodies, the third-gen F-bodies like this. So I'm really happy to have the subject. I also have this as a, uh, a pace car, which the pace car was a 3.8 turbo, the engine of the Grand National, but this GTA is uh, worth having as well. It's a nice color, kind of a maroon, almost brown, but yeah, maroon. Packaging is window box. It was said to be a limited edition. I'm not sure the number, but um, these have kind of gone up in value on eBay. Like I said, easily a $80, $100 car. I did buy it locally for, I think, $25 at that price. I'm not mad at it. I guess it's claimed to be car 0884. I guess it's probably a run of under 5000 if I had to guess. Really neat. I've wanted it for a while. Next up, another neat opening die cast. This is Sunstar Platinum. Sunstar Platinum, I think, is very good. It's, I'd say, similar in quality to Highway 61. Uh, lots of good opening parts. This is a W115 generation Mercedes. I think it's marked as, what is it, a 220? So that probably indicates a 2.2 liter four cylinder back when Mercedes numbering actually meant something relating to engine size. Uh, I, I have a habit on these, I leave the little pieces of, of clear tape on the numbers because half the time when you peel this off, the numbers come with it. Just a tip from me. I mean, it's going to get displayed in such a way you're not going to see it, so why damage the model? So some of the highlights, really nice mesh metal grill. You've got the metal emblem. Paints pretty nice. Um, frustratingly at this price point, which is like 129-ish, the rear doors don't open. Uh, I mean, Sunstar makes other cars where they figure out how to open the rear doors, so I, I don't quite understand that. Um, under hood, very nice detail. Look at the... Uh, I'm not sure if those are gas hoses, but they're uh, metal mesh. It's hard to pick up. Metal mesh hoses. Very good under hood detail. Sadly, you do have dog legs, but you know you can't win them all. Interior is very good. You've got kind of the simulated floor mat area, carpeting. Very nice detail. I mean, this would have been a pretty basic car in Germany, like other countries, this is a taxi. The coolest part is you've got the little 
wind deflector on the sunroof and we've seen functional sunroofs before but usually they're plastic and they just slide but this one it's actually spring operated look at that and it slides if I can get it to slide and if you look there's a little mechanism I mean that's neat I've never seen that on anything else a proper working sunroof really neat I mean if you've used it a hundred times and showed people it'll probably break it'll probably break would not surprise me at all but right now it works and I think it's cool I mean that's just neat it's my favorite part of it other little details they have like spring-loaded windshield wipers on the platinums very very good car and again retail about 130 bucks it's about 120 ish on eBay I don't think that these have gotten super rare supposed to be a limited edition I won this at auction with another Sunstar Platinum Benz which I'll show you I think I won them both for $60 certainly not price uh, not mad at that price um, you know there were fees and shipping so I'm probably into each one for like $40 so that's that's pretty much a steal packaging really big bulky packaging kind of a window preview flap they give these kind of like metal hang, hang tags kind of neat so kind of interesting packages uh, much bigger than it needs to be but whatever so that's it for this week I still have a lot more kind of older die casts that I finally chased down so keep an eye out for that everyone have a good one please like and subscribe